name, and there are several uh, which may well have to fight it out in a, in a swift contest to replace Liz Truss. Jonathan, thank you very much indeed. Let's just show you the scene then live in Downing Street on what has been a day of an extraordinary political drama, Liz Truss. Hello, this is Richard. This is Games Freezer, and today, my friends, we're doing a 10 minute taster for a game called Of Blades and Towels. Now, this looks beautiful. I really like the look of this game. Um, never played it before, so today I'll be the first time I'll be playing it, which is the point of the good old 10 minute taster. I'm just going to see if it um, works with controller. Doesn't seem to, so we'll uh, cut right on in and start a new game using the mouse. Right. So, select new game, relaxed. If you're looking for a more relaxed gaming experience, this is for you. You start with more health, deal more damage, and receive significantly more experience points. Adventure. A great adventure awaits. This is the original game mode. Ideal if you already have experience with tactical, turn based combat and like to experiment with abilities and equipment. Challenge. You're looking for an even bigger challenge and are used to, and are used to bite the dust more often used to biting the dust more often then you have come to the right spot not available yet um, I'm gonna go relaxed for the benefit of this 10 minute taster we'll see where we get to shall we once upon a time mankind lived on earth this is quite cool my cursor controls like a little torch but one day they disappeared without a trace soon after the world began to change as well magic was born it gave us the gift of speech and the use of our hands oh I see this is about anim the animal world by the looks of it oh, there I am I'm a fox we are magical beings but do we make the same mistakes as mankind or are we a better heir to them Okay, this is exciting stuff. I'm genuinely excited to play this. Look at that, looks lovely. Okay, so what are we doing? Almost there. I just need to follow this path and should be back at the village before night falls. I'm wondering if Aro is already back from his expedition. Haven't heard anything from him in days. Alright, I shouldn't waste too much time now. Let's just hope that there are no more dangers lurking around here. Okay. Would you like to learn about movement? Yeah, go on in. Movement, controls and camera. There are several ways to move around in the game world. You can point the mouse at the desired field and click to automatically move along to the indicated path as long as you're not interrupted by an enemy. Another option is to move directly using the keyboard. The default key assignment for this is WASD. You can change this as well as many other key bindings in the options menu. As long as there are no enemies around you can move freely. As soon as you have contact with an opponent you can usually move one field per turn or perform another action after that it's the opponent's turn you can pan the camera around by holding down right mouse button or middle mouse button this allows to target enemies that would otherwise be off screen to reset cameras position press ALT to get a better overview of your current location you can zoom out the camera by pressing the tab Okay, let's press tab, shall we? Oh, right, I see. But right, I'm going to use the mouse point and click type movement. I'll go and have a little explore. Oh, look, health potion. And I'll pick it up. Right, that's gone into my inventory. And there it is, consumables. That's all good. Can I pop it onto a. Oh, I didn't want to use it, but. There you go. <laughs> right, let's have a little wonder. Oh, what do we have over there? It looks like a medicinal herb. I shouldn't miss out on that. Don't know what we're looking at. We're we looking at that. I know we're looking at that. Yes, there's 
That's exactly the kind of thing you should always carry with you. It's not as effective as a brewed potion, but it can help to recover quickly after a fight. I should pocket it and use it when needed. Cool. Okay. Anything else around here? What's that over there? I do like having a wander around, you see. So do me tab a bit. So I'm kind of opening the map up as I go along. Sort of finding some extra bits, although that's as far wide as it, the map goes. Yeah. Oh look, there's a mana shroom. That, is that an enemy? Down here, oh yeah. Tutorial, would you like to learn about combat? Yeah, go on then. How to fight and survive. As soon as you approach an enemy, you'll notice that your moves alternate with the opponent's moves. This is a turn-based aspect of the game. You can calmly think about what you want to do next. Usually your turn ends after you've moved or perform some other action such as ability or use of an item. At the beginning of the game you are limited to simple attacks, left mouse button, and may already have a healing herb in your inventory, I, to heal yourself. Once you've gained more experience you'll be able to learn new powerful abilities at the bonfire. These will give you the opportunity to act in a much more tactical way. It's very important later on in the game to take a closer look at these abilities and weigh out what you want to use for your playstyle. You can learn more about this in the talent section. While you explore the game world and make a make loot, you'll find many different items. Some of them are indispensable for your survival, especially medicinal herbs, bug meat and mana shrooms. The latter will help you restore your stamina mana between battles. Pay attention to the description of the items you collect, they can prove to be extremely useful. By the way, it's also possible to quickly switch between two weapons R and thus be prepared for melee and ranged combat. You can learn more about this in the equipment section. Right, okay, so we just have a fight. Who are we going to fight with? This dude here. There you go. He's done. Get some more of that. Additional herb. Gonna have a ruck with this dude here. There you go, got some funds. And a convincing sword. Oh, that's good. Let's have a look at this. Would you like to learn about equipment? Yeah, go on in. Loot, inventory, and equipment. The items you find on your adventures and the equipment you put on can make all the difference in combat. There are various types and subtypes of items. There are weapons of various kinds, three classes of armor, usable and unusable items. Many of these items come in five quality levels common, uncommon, rare, epic and legendary each quality level grants a higher number of bonuses legendary quality items on the other hand also grant special abilities but they're harder to obtain armor pieces also come in classes light medium and heavy each class comes with advantages disadvantages therefore you should carefully consider which type of armor is best suited for your playstyle Okay, in the equipment window it's also possible to define a second weapon set which you can easily switch to in battle with the R shortcut key default. If you end up carrying too much items in your inventory you can safely put them in your stash container. You can find them in every settlement. Right, let's have a little look in here then. Thanks for that. So do I automatically have that sword? Yeah, it's in my hand already. Right, cool. And I could use that to give me some more uh, health. Have a little look down here. I'm just looking for any other herbs and stuff. Can't see anything. 
Any old herbs, any old herbs, any, any, any old herbs. I found that little potion, didn't I, straight away? So I'm just wondering whether there's any other little hidden bits. Right, okay, so let's get back to the main path and we'll, uh, we'll have a wander to where I'm meant to be going, which is down here somewhere. I think. Okay. Liking the music, very nice. Right, what are we gonna do? Where should we walk to? Let's have a little wander over here. Let's have a let's have a look. Some definitely some bits over here. Bit of verticality to this part of the level. Although not much to find by the looks of it. Is there anything over there? Can't see any herbs. No herbal remedies. Oh right, that's a little town. Oh, I see, because it's evening, it's a bit, a bit darker. Get back on the path. Oh, look, who's this? Fox worker. Thought I'd be able to talk to him, but maybe not. I like the pace at which he moves around. Bullet. Okay, what do I get? Bit of this, bit of that. Can I go into here? Oh, there's another box. Throwing cow chops and a javelin. Nice. See, I can scroll around, kind of have a little look about. About this little place down here. Distant herb and a mana shroom. To the mana shroom born. Come on, bug. It's like some kind of farm, isn't it? Anything over here worth having a look at? Doesn't look like it, does it? Have a little wand up. Right, let's go back to the house, see if I can move on the... Um, move on the story a bit. I've got to meet with someone, right? What's, uh, what's the inventory saying? Do it, does it tell me what I've got to do next? What's this? Journal. About your quests. No active quests. Is me. Level 1. Experience. 38. Combat experience. 100%. Okay. Sword attack. What's that map? Oh, that's nice. I like that map this yeah very nice very nice right okay let's press escape to come out of that can I let's go and see the uh, mm -hmm. rear of the blacksmith Reek what can I do for you what 
can you tell me? I'd like to trade. What can you tell me? I heard further north a merchant was attacked by crawlers. Guess I'll have to wait a long time for my delivery now. I wonder what brought him there. I do for you. Uh, goodbye. Hey, anyone else? Ah, here we go. Here's the dude I'm meant to be seeing. Break your back. And well. Good. She waves at you. Come here, we need to talk. I take it you haven't heard from Aro either. I'm starting to get a little worried. It's not like him to go this long without reporting you. As far as I know, he was going to explore a new crawler lair to the east. Basically, nothing a seasoned fighter can't handle. Rick, I wouldn't ask if I didn't have such a bad feeling. You're his best student. Can you go and see what's going on? But don't take any unnecessary risks. I'll be on my way. Oh, one more thing. You should definitely meditate by the bonfire on, on the things I already taught you beforehand in preparation for any dangers that you might encounter. She nods to you encouragingly. Oh, bonfire. Oh, and I've got something in my journal. Would you like to learn about talents? Level 2 reach. You've reached a new attribute and ability points. Go on in. Talents and abilities. Once you've gained enough experience to level up, you should rest by a bonfire to learn new abilities. There are a variety of talent lines in which you can learn active and passive abilities. Perks. One after the other. Some talents require a certain weapon type to use them. Others can be used with all weapons. You'll find that some abilities are offensive, others are defensive, or simply give you more freedom of movement. It may well be necessary to use abilities from multiple talents to be prepared for tricky situations. Of the active abilities you have learned, you can drag five into your ability bar and use them in combat. You can change this composition at any time at a bonfire. Learned perks are always available. Abilities that are covered with a question mark require additional knowledge to unlock, also called expertise. Expertise can be gained during the course of the game, either by exploring the world or joining factions later on in the game. It's also possible to reset all abilities you've already learned and redistribute your points. This is good. To do this, find a shrine of oblivion in the game world. One should not be too far from your home village. Right, let's go to the bonfire. Resting by the bonfire saves your progress and gives you the opportunity to adjust your abilities to your upcoming adventures. Additionally, you can stay here and let time pass. Uh, meditate and learn. Can I... Um, character. Claw strike, one handed, rushing blow. Oh, okay, I've got two available points. Oh, right, and I'll plus in the. Right, I'm with you. I am with you. Okay, so let's go with a sword, and we go like that. Can I go. What's this one? This is a rushing blow, charges towards the target, stuns for one turn, deals 115% physical damage, brings the target off balance for three turns, reducing its dealt damage. Shall I go again? And we have got a knockout blow, area three times three, stamina cost four, cooldown four, deals 85% physical damage, knocks target back, stuns for one turn. Right, no points left. We are ready to go, see, we are ready to go. Journal says main mission in action Arrow my friend and teacher is missing he went to investigate a crawler lair in the east he's not returned I should go and check on him it's be, it is possible that he has been ambushed go to crawler lair ok crawler lair it is my friends and I think east is left so we are looking over there and where's my map wonder if I can uh set a marker that would be handy but there you go let's do this we are ready to rumble we are ready to rumble hang on east is, east is right not <laughs> I'm going west west is the best right come on go east ruler there Ooh, look at that stash container don't need that yet, so let's come away from that. What's this? Armour rack. Convincing chest plate round shield. This is all good stuff. Weapon rack. Uh, convincing bow essential. Yeah, nice. 
is all good stuff as well. Bug meat and a mana shroom. Training dummy. Does this mean I can level up doing this? You know. Right, click for more. Uh, relies mainly on physical attacks and is relatively robust. Okay. We're going to this lair, aren't we? New map, say. a crawler there. Anyone seen a crawler? Oh, look, up there. Should I go and have a ruck? Nice. Well done. We'll go for another ruck. Of course I do. Let's get this wasp. Have I automatically... Um, Oh yeah, put on the convincing chest plate, yeah. Nice, well done. This is actually a really nice chilled out experience. I really like playing this, just clicking away, having a little explore. Combat's fairly straightforward. Basically, pick up as much loot as you possibly can. Fight a few bugs. Look for your missing, missing mate, wherever he is. Waspy. Right, that's him done. Right, so what do you want to look at? Look at the map again. Oh, it's going to be there, look. That's where I need to head, so I need to head over that river. Or round that river, let's say. Should I get distracted? Yeah, let's have a rock. I want to move up the levels, don't I? Right, so look, where are we? And in map. Yeah, I do need to get over that river. So let's do that. And hear the river. By the river of Babylon. Right, uh, medicinal herb. Nice. Keep it as that for now. What's that? That is a explosive growth. Hmm. Ouch. Do I get um experience for that? Dunno. Don't really want to risk that. Oh look, wasp. Mana shroom. Check the map. Right, coming up to that river. At least it looked like we were. Oh, hello. Taking a bit more damage, this guy. Maybe I should be looking more for herbs and stuff. Look at the map. I need to come down one sector. I need to come down this way, don't I? Yeah. 
Oh, I am. I need to go up actually. Well, unless. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Ah, look, here we go. Is that what I just saw? There we go. That's what I need. Oh, look, there's a campfire. Have a little look. There are enemies nearby. You cannot rest here now. Okay. Right by me. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, knock seven shades out of this dude. Very cool. Right, 22 experience there. Do I have to... Here we go. Meditate and learn. New spot discovered. Entrance to Crawler Lair. Resting by the bonfire. Yep, yeah, I know that bit. So... Let's see if I've got any points. No points. Have a little rock. Oh, there's a nest here, look. What's this? Wasp nest. Oh, God. Oh, I can just destroy it, which is good news. I was expecting more to come out. Get the mana shroom. It's weird that, that it should hide the gold behind that big old rock. Um, if I rest here, do I get all my... Yeah, I do. I get all my um, health back. Right, let's go to the lair. Ooh, look at this. Like this. I found the crawler there. Now I have to keep my eyes open for Arrow. He must be around here somewhere. Right, will we find Arrow? I wonder if there's a map. No, there isn't. Cool. Okay, so it's going to be down here, right? I'm going to die here. Help. <laughs> ah! You've been defeated. There are a few tips for survival. Remember that the game is turn-based. You can take your time to think about what your next action should be. Use your abilities and experiment with your other learned abilities and attributes to find your shrine of oblivion. Use the items you find. Yada yada yada. You can't find it. If an enemy is too strong, try bypassing and return where you become stronger. Right, okay. I should come out here so I can go back in. Right, let's transition to the area and use what I've learned. What's this? Oh, I can use these rather than just standard attacks, can't I? Let's uh, go up here. Well, there's a big old spider over there, look. We're going to have a ruck with him. Right, that was better. Okay. Oh, I see. That's like a got a sweeping blow, explosive growth. I'm gonna stay out of his. I'm low on stamina. Okay. So if I use one of these mana shrooms, I'll bring it back. Is that right? Hmm. Not sure. Right, okay. What well, do you know what? I think I'm gonna call a halt to the ten minute taster. I'm really enjoying learning how to play this game. And so far so good. So um hopefully it keeps getting better and better. I like this type type of games where it's quite a chill experience, which is all good. If you've enjoyed the video, please make sure that you press like on the video. And also subscribe. Goodbye my friends.